Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your home. Welcome to my channel. You can like, subscribe and share if you like. You can interact with my subscribers. You can send me emails. The, the email address is below. If you want me to talk about a particular topic, I'm more than happy to do so. Anyway, today's video is because I went to the bank today and I get so peed off with them trying to push you to use online stuff. I mean, I have an online account, but for many people, there was a little old lady there and they're showing her the iPad and telling her that she needs to try to learn how to use it. I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. Once you pass a certain age, there are certain things that you... It's not like elderly people cannot learn how to use an iPad, but it's not that straightforward. The way they use the iPad, the way they navigate on the, on the system, they make it look so easy. And that poor little old lady must leave feeling quite silly that she doesn't know how to do it or that she can't remember the steps. It's not easy. Even trying to set up a bank, um, a bank account online, they make it look like, OK, you can check your... You've got, you can check your accounts online. This lady was saying that she wanted to speak to a teller. They said, oh, you can go and check, um, you can check it online. All you've got to do is download the app. What does she know about downloading an app? She looks so bewildered. The fact of the matter is, even if you know how to download an app, it's not straight forward. After you've downloaded the app, what else do you need to do? It's not like you download the app, you click on a button and you can see your accounts. No, you've got to set it up so that it's secure. That usually means you need to wait for a verification code to set it up. And that verification code comes through a text message. So you need to have a mobile phone. Supposing she doesn't have a mobile phone. And if she does have a mobile phone, will she know how to switch between programs? Because the message that comes that you're supposed to populate in that field, you have to switch into your text or your email to get that verification code. Then you have to put it in. Then you have to create a password. Then you have to verify the password. Then you have to have personal identification. You know, the name of somebody you want to remember or whatever they ask you or an address or something. What might seem automatic to a young mind is not automatic to an elderly mind. And I think it's wrong for them to expect the elderly to do online banking. I think it's really wrong. They're, they should draw a line under it. Yes, they're trying to get cut costs. Yes, they're trying to get rid of people. Yes, they want people to lose jobs so they can close down banks. But what about those people who are losing their jobs? And when they stand up there with their iPad and they're telling you, oh, yes, can I help you? And they're going through this iPad. And you're looking at them as if to say, I don't really want to talk to an iPad. I want to talk to a human being. I went into a bank. Well, I was already in the bank. But they came straight up to me. Oh, you know, we do have six machines over there you can use. Duh. I can see them. Oh, do you, want, do you need me to show you how to use it? No. Oh, you don't have to wait in line. You don't have to wait in line, you know. You don't have to wait in the queue. I need to speak to a teller. Oh, is there anything I can help you with? No, I want to speak to a teller. Well, this machine's doing my almost... I need said, back off, leave me alone. You know what I mean? Can you imagine them putting that pressure on an elderly person? Can you imagine? I need to, to exchange some money. So it's not something a machine can do. It can't, it can't tell you an exchange right. It can't, you know, give you foreign currency. So it's really, really annoying when they come into the banks and they pressure you. 3.4 million people are over 65 and they are expecting them to learn how to bank online. It's bad enough the other day I learned that we got to submit our taxes digitally. 
you know, it's not easy. And I can imagine the rigmarole. When I wanted to try and do the pilot, I had to have this gateway code. And it's just so, it's just as well I work for the government. Why? I have a gateway reference. But how's anybody going to get a gateway reference? You know, it's not easy. And they make it look so easy. And it's not. So, I just think that, you know, I just wanted to, you know, for people out there who don't know how to bank online, don't get frustrated. It's not an easy process. You know, if I were you, you know, once you've got it all set up on your phone, it's not that bad to go in because you can use your thumbprint to access your code you know, to access your account. So you don't have to remember too much, but they still have a second form of authentication. So you still have to have a second formula. There's still, if you've got a password, you're still going to have to remember the digits. And then with the, the, the thing with that is that supposing your password is cat, just for the, that's an easy one. And it's not like they'll say put in your password. Oh, no, that would be too simple. Put in the first digit and the third digit. You know, and I'm just thinking about elderly people. For me, it's okay. But for the elderly people, they've got to then work out what digit goes where. And normally these uh, passwords need to be more than eight characters. Then sometimes some of these passwords, you're supposed to have a mixture of those funny characters, numeric and alphanumeric characters. And you're supposed to have them in your password. Can you imagine elderly people not only trying to learn how to put, download an app, but they've got to contend with all of these different passwords. Then the number that corresponds with the letter and put that in. I mean, to be honest, I do it like a flash, but it doesn't mean I cannot empathise with those. And it doesn't mean I do not realise what it takes to reach from one step to another. You know, the other day, um, one of my colleagues, she said, oh, you're, she said, oh, you're going away for two weeks. She goes, can you show me how to scan that thing onto the system? So I said, yeah, sit down and I'll show you. And for me, I just, and I've done it in a couple of minutes. But I wasn't aware of how many steps I took. But because I had to write down those steps for her, she, in the end, she said, oh, you know, no, there has to be a different way. I, I can't remember all those steps. I said, but if you write it down, she goes, oh, no, it's too many. It's too many. I, I can't do that. Now, she's not even, she's not in her 60s or 65. She's not over 60. And yet she was having problems. So what I'm saying is, is that what a lot of young people and a lot of these people in banks are young, they take it for granted how quick, and even when you think children with um, the iPad, with the phone, switching from one program to the other, they make it look so simple. They click, click, they, they, it's automatic. But the elderly's brain is not wired that way. It's... It's not, anyway, that's, I, I, I'm just, I just hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And I think that, I don't even know what we can do, but I think there needs to be somebody speaking it out for the elderly people so that they're, they're not pushed to go online when they don't want to, just because they want to save costs. People want to see people, we put our money in, uh, in your bank, and we should be able to talk to a human being about that money. For most people, they just do quick transactions from one person to another, and they've they've completed that the transaction, and that's fine. But you might want to talk to about your money. You might want to have a discussion about it, and a machine can't do that. So that's all I wanted to say, really, peeps. Uh, I don't think I've missed anything. Nah. I've talked enough. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bye.